Let's work out a problem regarding longitudinal and transverse slopes on a roadway. Here in this situation we have a two-lane road that is 28 feet wide. Here you can see a cross-section. This is the center line. When we have a C with an L through it, that denotes center line. And you can see the two lanes are 14 feet wide each. In this situation we call this normal crown. Normal crown means that the center line of the road is a ridge. It is the high point along the road and both lanes drain away from the center line. So here you can see we have a slope of 2%, a negative 2% on one side and a negative 2% on the other side going from the center line out toward the edges of pavement. I've also shown in this isometric view the pavement. Here you can see the cross section at both ends and this piece of pavement runs from station 21 plus 00, 00 down to 29 plus 00, 00 measured along the center line. And the slope along that center line is negative 3.2%. Let's give this an elevation at 21 plus 00, 00 of 925.33 feet. Let's say we want to know the elevation on the left edge of pavement. So this will be at station 25 plus 29 and at 14 feet left. So let's just do the math here. We know that we're going to have a slope down the center line from 21 plus 00, 00 to station 25 plus 29 on the center line and then we're going to have a slope going from the center line out to the edge of pavement. So we're going to break it into two parts. I'm just drawing a profile here for clarity. If this is 29 plus 00, 00 on the left and 21 plus 00, 00 on the right, then 25 plus 29 is going to be between them. We know we have a negative 3.2 percent slope. Well first we need to know what is the distance from here to there. We're simply going to subtract the station numbers. Notice we're taking the plus placeholder out of the station and you can see this difference is 429 feet. We know that slope is vertical over horizontal so in this case I know what the slope is. I know what the horizontal is. I am trying to find the vertical. So vertical if I solve is simply going to be horizontal times slope. Vertical now is going to be 429 feet times 3.2 percent and to divide by 100 I'll get that back into decimal form. So this works out to be a negative 13.73 feet. My elevation at 21 plus 00, 00 was 925.33 and I'm going to add this negative number so I'm getting a net subtraction and thus the elevation on the center line is going to be 911.60 feet and this is at 2529 on the center line. Now my goal is to find this at 14 feet right. Here we said this is 911.60 at the center line. When we go out 14 feet we do have some elevation change going down from the center line to that edge of pavement. So let's compute that. 14 feet of pavement width times the slope, in our case a 2% slope, is going to be 0.28 feet. Now I'll note that this is negative just as the previous one 
was negative. See, I didn't show that, but does, that is a negative 3.2%. To apply that, I'm simply going to take my center line elevation at that station, 91160, and I'm going to apply this 0.28 feet negative, so it's a net subtraction, and I get 911.32 feet is my elevation at, now we're still at the same station, 25 plus 29, but now we're at 14 feet left, that is on the left edge of pavement.